We've all got our own ways of hooking a worm. And for years, I used to hook my worm in the middle or thread it round the, the bend of the hook. But to be honest, it was about probably seven or eight years ago when I, I first fished with Martin Bowler uh, on a stretch of the River Ouse. And Martin said, this is the way I hook it because I was having problems with big pull rounds and not hooking big perch. And the problem was they were picking up the length of the worm instead of picking up, sucking it in with a hook in. And Martin said, try this. And I'll tell you something now, I wouldn't say it solves all the problems with perch pulling the tip round in your hookdom, because a, you know, a, a worm's a big thing and there's plenty of worm to grab hold of without the hook. But let me tell you, this does solve quite a lot of them. What you're trying to achieve with the worm is if you can get the juices on the hook where you're hooking it that's where the perch will tend to attack the worm now let me show you how martin bowler showed me all those years ago first hook the worm whether it be a lob worm or a small red worm whatever hook it in the saddle like that the saddle is that little band there on the worm just below the head hook it into the saddle then here's the clever bit just pinch the Pinch the head off and then put that on the hook again, right? So what you've got is two pieces of worm that are on the bend of the hook with all the juices. Let me just show you. Right, so what you've got is you've got the worm broken off. So all the juices are coming out of that bit and then the head, all the juices are coming out there and it's on the bend of the hook. So, although the worm's hanging down, when that's out in the river, you know, if you've got maggots in the feeder or, you know, little bits of worm, what actually happens is the perch is more likely to come to the juices point and that's the bend of the hook. And once I started using that, I had two tremendous perch. One year I had a four pound, 10 ounce, and one which is still my personal best is £4.14. Thanks, Martin. <laughs>